Hello, my YouTube family. What a day it was today. Okay, Let, let's just let's just do lips of the day first, so I can then go on with my diatribe. All right, because anyway, Deb, this is the doll. I think this was the one you wanted me to wear. Well, I'm wearing it anyway. Um, the lip liner is MAC Mahogany. There it is. MAC Mahogany lined. And what is filled is the 703 L'Oreal Caramel Solo, the one I bought yesterday, the uh, Extraordinaire Lipsticks or whatever they're called. What are they called? I don't know. Extraordinaires. I think that's what they're called. Extraordinaires. And this is Caramel Solo, people. I thought it was going to be a lot sheerer. This is quite an opaque lip gloss. It goes on feathery smooth. But it's not it's not a light, like lightweight lipstick. Like you could feel it. It's, it's it doesn't weigh your lip down or anything, but you could feel it. It's not as light as, you know, let's say this, which is what I wore yesterday. I'll tell you about that. This is what Caramel Solo looks like. <clears throat> which I think I showed you yesterday. That is Caramel Solo. I thought it was going to be a lot sheerer. It's quite opaque. Quite, quite opaque. So, you know. I guess it's a liquid lipstick. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm coughing again. So here we go. That is Caramel Solo. I love it. Love it. It is smooth. I don't know. The formulation of lip glosses of today are so not the formulation of lip glosses of yesteryear when I was, you know, growing up. I absolutely adore. And check out the brush on this. And by the way, if you see it, you're going to instantly think it pops open. No, it twists open. Okay. And this is the brush. One of these fancy hoity-toity brushes. Okay. That's the application, the applicator. And so that is that. <clears throat> now, yesterday, the lip liner was deep purple, like I told you. Deep purple. And this was, what was this again? Raspberry Rhapsody. This was Raspberry Rhapsody. And... Here's the swatch. Again, one of these fancy hoity-toity applicators. And see, this is a lighter, lighter lip gloss. This is less opaque. Still opaque, as you saw from yesterday's video, but it's less opaque than this one. Oops. Damn. Didn't mean to touch it. There you go. So that's it, people. That is it. So I can, you know, if you want to turn off now, because I'm going on my diatribe right about now. I got to work at 8.35, had enough time to go to the cafeteria to get some breakfast. But instead, what happened? I will show you. I will show you what happened. <clears throat> Nancy steps out. She was wearing these. Nancy steps out wearing her clogs because it was a nice springish day. And... Look what happens to one of the heels as I step out of the car. I just stepped out of the car. That, that's all. I lost the heel. Lost it. One is fine. The other one, not so much. To the point where I have to throw them away now because, they're you know, you can't walk in these ever again. So I'm distraught now because it's like, well, do I try to walk in them? And I tried to a couple of steps and I said, there's, there's no way. So I got back in the car, called the office, told them I'm here in the parking lot, but I have to go home now because uh, my shoe heel broke. I drove home like lightning. Drove back home now. <sighs> Changed into a black pair of flats that I'm wearing now. 
and drove like lightning back to work. I got back to work at <clears throat> 9.25, So I was late again. May, I'm telling you, the month of May is not happening for me so far, people. The month of May is not happening for me. First, it's the car. Now, it's the shoes. I don't understand. I really don't understand what is going on. And what do I have to deal with tomorrow? I get an email from somebody in HR talking about, uh, will you be available to have your review tomorrow? I'm thinking, didn't everybody have their reviews already? I know I didn't have mine, but I guess they're getting to me now. <clears throat> so I have my review tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about it because I know I'm there when I'm supposed to be. And should things happen like things do, I have a legitimate excuse and I still manage to go to work. It's not like, oh, well, you know, this, that, and the other happened to me, so I'm not coming in. No, no, no. I'll just be in late, which has happened. So, the car, and now my shoe. So, that is that, people. I, I, um, oh, and you know, you won't see me tomorrow. Well, tomorrow, Thursday, anyway. Uh, you may, you may or may not have seen me tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm going to dinner with my family. So, uh, yeah, we are going to, Havana Central, honey. We are going to Havana Central. The first time I went to Havana Central was a few years back, which was also with some co cousins of mine. And that was the first time I had even heard of Havana Central, late to the game as usual. Honey, their food is, is almost, almost, pretty darn close to Haitian food. But theirs is more Cuban, Cuban type food, Havana. Cuba. Cuban food, honey. We got the empanadas. We got the uh, plantains, plantanos. Oh, honey. We got the arroz con pollo. What? Oh, I am going to just divulge myself in some Cuban food tomorrow. See, my mouth is watering already. Tomorrow after work. So the gang meets up at Havana Central near the Roosevelt Field Mall. I think it's next to the J.C. Penney. This is the first time I'm going to be in that Havana Central. The first Havana Central I went to was in the city. That was many, many moons ago. I haven't gone to the city in a stone's age, and I would really like to not go ever again to the city. I know the city is it never sleeps. In New York City, there's no other place like it. But... um. <clears throat> It's a torment to get to, and it's a torment to come out of. And the way the subway systems are these days, you never know if somebody's going to push you on the track or if you're just going to slip and fall. No, no. And driving to the cities. Yeah, right. That's going to happen. Um, so the city and I, there's going if, if I do end up going back to the city for whatever reason, it's going to be a damn ass good reason. But right now, no. I haven't been to the city since, um, oh, it's got to be at least five or six years now. That, not not doing that again. And plus, you know, like, like how would I be walking around in the city with a cane? For real? I need to just calm myself. So I was almost, almost tempted to go to Applebee's to get my uh, Fiesta chopped uh, chicken salad. Thank you, Eileen. She was the one that had mentioned that somebody had brought her a, a, a salad from Applebee's and when they brought it to her, it reminded her of me. Thank you very much, Eileen. I appreciate that. And so we started talking about, you know, salads and Applebee's and stuff. And um, I was almost tempted to go after work today, which would have meant you would not have gotten a video today or tomorrow and tomorrow so I said mm, no no I have enough food I can just you know save money because tomorrow you know Havana Central is not cheap you know 1650 1750 that's a dish okay so I need to save up the ducats for tomorrow 
Okay, speaking of which, I better put my money in my purse so I don't forget it. There, done. So that's about it, people. I have spoken about the shoe situation coming to work late because of the shoe situation. Um, Havana Central tomorrow night. I'm going to have fun with my relatives. My aunt, my uncle, two cousins. Yeah, I think. Two cousins and maybe a cousin's husband. I'm not sure. The whole family of theirs, I don't know. I don't know who's coming, but I know it's going to be a bunch of us. And um, <clears throat> we should have a good time. Pop's not going to want to come. So I, I could I could invite him today, and he'll just say, no, I'll take a pass. Because the particular aunt, yeah, he and her. That's family for you. So, uh, yeah, he can only do Thanksgiving, and that's it. And even that is a bit of a, you know, pulling teeth with him. <coughs> and it's only once a year. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I'll be going, you know, and I will represent him in the process. And on Saturday, I'm surprised he even brought this up yesterday in our phone conversation. Saturday, we are going to visit mom for Mother's Day. I was quite surprised because I was going to bring it up myself, but he brought it up first. He said, Sunday's Mother's Day, right? Shouldn't we see your mom on Saturday? I was like, yes, I was I was going to ask you if you wanted to go see mom on Saturday. So we will be visiting her on Saturday morning, midday, somewhere around there. So of course, you know, this means that, that, that this ain't going to get done unless unless the woman can go, come back on. I mean, watch it. My luck, because this is the way May is working for me. I'll be there and then the phone will ring and it'll be her. And I will be with my father so I'm not gonna rush and I'm gonna be with my mother you know spiritually so I'm not gonna rush back home just to get my hair done unless she wants to wait off until Sunday I'll ask her but if not that means just another week okay okay so this is the lips of the day honey it is quite caramelly quite caramelly indeed very shiny. So you see the theme of the day, right? Brown. And I did say I would never wear brown. I said I would never wear brown pants because of my school colors. Actually, the school colors were blue and gold. Blue and gold high school ring, blue and gold uh, pom-poms because I was a cheerleader. Yes, believe it or not. Oh, look who came to visit. And, but our uniforms were brown and white, white shirt, brown vest, brown socks, brown skirt, or brown pants. So you can see brown is, I'm not fond. All right. <clears throat> so that's basically it in a nutshell, people. That is it. That is all I have for you. I'm coughing up a lung. Again, it's just that annoying, <coughs> excuse me, annoying cough. But, you know, I'm, it's not like I'm coming down with a cold or anything. It's just an annoying cough. Other than that, I'm fine. Um, that's it. That's all I have for you. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Um, I've shown you everything from even yesterday's look to today's look. And, oh, yes, by the way, this, this NYX Four Lashes. This is the brush, people. It's one of them fiber brushes. It's, it's filled with little fibers, as you could probably see. Can you see that? Little fibers. And it's very kind of like an almost kind of semi-crooked brush. But it, it does the trick, honey. It does the trick. Yes. It doesn't separate so much, but it lifts. It lifts. So, um, you know, it says fiber-infused luscious volume. Doesn't really separate them that much. It's kind of clumpy. But I'm not going to, you know, I'm not disappointed in it. I kind of like it. And that's just the way it is. So I like the four lashes. This is not bad. This is not bad. 
that is all. Now I think that's really it. I have filled you in on everything. No, I didn't. <laughs> I looked over. I did not see uh, Real Housewives of New York City, so please don't be angry at me, Sarah. I'm sorry. And everybody else that was waiting for me to give that review. I was watching my Deadliest Catch, people. I, uh, you know, I know normally I DVR Deadliest Catch and I watch Real Housewives, but for some reason the channel was already on Deadliest Catch and I, I was five minutes into it and then I realized, oh damn, I have to take, if I'm watching this, I have to take Real Housewives. So I put that on DVR. I could have put the de Deadly Sketch on DVR and then changed it, to, but I didn't. So, you know, shoot me. So that was it, and I saw Chicago Fire. Did anybody watch Chicago Fire last night? It was good as usual. As usual. And my captain, my chief, I love that man so much. The chief done got down on bended knee. Now, see, a man is stupid. Let me just, let me just preface it by that. He goes to the woman because she tells him, she goes to him last week or two weeks ago to let him know that, by the way, she's pregnant and it is his baby. Okay. So he's like, well, yes, I'm a responsible person and I'm want, I want to be in the child's life. And uh, I feel that, <clears throat> you know, this is when they got together for lunch or whatever. And I feel, and he was talking all, you know, legalese and whatnot. And, you know, I feel that in order for us to be a family, um, if you want me to take care of you, uh, I will uh, support you any way I can. And I want to be part of it. And she looked at him like, is that a proposal? And he, he kind of thought about it and he's like, well, yes. And she goes, in that case, no, <laughs> I'm not marrying you. And then she walked away. I don't blame her. And then he goes and he's like all befuddled. And he talks to one of the, um, the young, uh, firemen in the, in the, in the firehouse and told him exactly what he said to her. And the young fireman is looking at him like, "That's that, for real? That's really what, how you said it? And he's like, yeah. And he goes, well, then I don't blame her for not wanting to marry you because that's not a real proposal and you really should know better. And he goes, look, I'm not good with words and, and she should have known. And he, he goes, no, she shouldn't have known nothing. If you're going to propose to her and if you love this woman, you have to A, kind of tell her, yes, I love you, by the way. And... I want to marry you. You have to do it. You have to come correct. Men, stupid. Some are, some aren't. You know, the one who was younger, who he was talking to, obviously got it. Chiefy, you know, he old school. So, so finally he gets dressed up in his finest fireman gear, honey. The uniform, the hat. I mean, you know, a chief's uniform, white gloves and everything, came to pick her up at the school. She had no idea he was coming. She was dismissing her class, and he came and got on bended knee. I was like, yeah, Chiefy, you doing it right now. Gave her the ring that was his great-grandmother's or something. It was a, a vintage ring, beautiful. And asked her, properly told her, you know, I care for you. Not only do I care for you, I am in love with you. And I already love the baby that you're carrying, which is ours. And would you marry me? And she finally said, she looked at the class, because I think it's like a first grade class or a kindergarten class. They were really, really small. And they were getting all giggly and everything. And she goes, well, I can't, dis I can't disappoint my class. And they were like, yay. And she said, yes, I will marry you. And he lifted her up in his arms and twirled her around. And I was like, yeah, that's romance. See, men got to be knocked up in the head in order to get it right. And then you're going to wonder why she turned you down the first time. You stupid. You stupid. This is why. Hello, my love. That is the man in my life. Okay. You don't have to get down on bended knee and nothing. We ain't got that kind of relationship. Um, but yeah, you know, that is the man in my life. Okay. He's the little boy. I don't want him to grow up so much. He's going to be two next month. My baby. <sighs> my baby. Look at him. I just, I love him. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop looking at him and patting him and oh, I don't know what the hell he's looking at outside. It's getting all cloudy now because, of course, tomorrow we're going out to dinner. And what's it going to do? It's going to rain. 
See how the month of May is going for me? Do you see? Oh, don't even. No, no. Oh, here we go. He's got something against that glasses case. I don't know what it is. There we go. He's going to make himself very comfortable. There we go. You see him nudging. You see him nudging it, right? You, you, you see him nudging it, right? Yes, we are looking at you. We are looking at you. We are looking at you nudging my glasses case. You know I have to go now, right? Okay, so I will talk to you on Friday because I know I'm not going to see you tomorrow because I don't even know when I'm going to get home because we're supposed to meet up at 7 o'clock. Now, 7 o'clock means, you know, get a parking spot, get there, wait for other people to all arrive, and then, you know, wait for a table. And then by the time I get home, it's probably going to be 10.30. And there goes the glasses case. And then he got the nerve to look at it like, what? Did I do that? Did I do that? Uh, yeah, you kind of did. Yes. Yes, Tom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what, you going to go down and, and play with it now? Because it went under the bed, and he is chasing it. I was supposed to get it before he knocked it down. I'm going now, people. I have, I have to now. Um, so that is that with that upon that. That was Chicago Fire. Love it. Um, Deadliest Catch. If you don't watch it, which I'm sure a lot of you, most of you, all of you don't watch it. So I'm not even going to talk about it. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's all. Yes, my sweetheart. I, I can't be mad at him. He's a four-legged creature. No damn well what he's doing. But I can't be mad at him because he looks so adorable. And his coat is getting shiny again. Love it. Okay, that's it. That's all I have for you. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about this new lip gloss because I love it. I love it. Loving it. Yep. Loving it indeed. And I will talk to you on Friday. Okay? God willing. God willing. Okay, so that's it, people. I love you. Have a good day. Have a great day. Let me know what you think. And I love you. Bye now.